I spent a long time making this livery. Some could say too long. And it's not even that good. Like, look at the back. I need to make it better here. But, welcome to the first long-based, wheel-based vehicle branded in the golden buses livery with the new logo that I made as well. Look at it. It's amazing. Look at it. it, it it's proper. It looks like an actual company. If we just look at this bit, don't look at this bit at the back, uh, but just look at this bit. It looks like a proper company. And boom, we're going to buy this bus straight up. There we go. 30k gone. But that is our first we long wheel base branded bus. I wasn't sure if I should put something on the front, so I've just kind of left it as a white panel for now. And we're not doing the roof because we can't be spending too much money on these new buses. Come on, we're still just about commercially viable. But we've got some buses to allocate. It's Saturday morning. Last Saturday morning was a pretty a dead. Uh, we've got to try and get some trophies because I need 262. 262 is the number of trophies I need in my life. I need to be able to allocate these buses automatically so then we can focus more on making branding, making profits and adjusting timetables. Because some of these are timetables, not the best. Um, we could be more efficient. Uh, I know this is two routes late, or two episodes late. I'm pretty certain someone asked me. I did not change the timetable on Sundays. Thank you for that comment. Um, I recorded those two last videos together. So that's why there's I wasn't able to respond quicker enough. I don't want to refuel. Refueling costs too much at the moment. Uh, two... Pound thirty a liter, youch. Now I wonder if the Stratford Road is busy on a Saturday. And the next question is, I wonder if we actually need buses this early on a Saturday, because I don't think we do. I I do think we could probably cut it to a five a.m. start. But you never know. At some point, when our percentage of population wants to use public transport goes up even more, we might be able to get it. Um, the only thing we do need to buy realistically is a paint shop. And that's so we can brand some of these buses in our new livery. Uh, the only issue is finding a spot that the paint shop fits. It might be a thing where I have to just place it down, quickly paint the bus, and then sell the paint shop straight away. Oh, I've just applied the logo and that's it. Whoopsie. Centro. Boom. And we sell it. Boom. <laughs> We've got our first two liveried centros. These are amazing. I love it. Honestly, once you make your own livery, it looks so good after you look back at it. So the challenge is for today to make 54,000 passengers use our buses. Then we get 100 trophies with that and 73,000, which would help us pay off another loan. We could get rid of some more of these loans because we've got the debt is a bit oh it's a bit annoying now, and I'm tempted to buy this loan to then get rid of the other two loans because then we'll only be paying one thousand. No, we might make that today. What did we make last Saturday? We made fifty. Oh, we made fifty k last Saturday. Ah. Evacuate 320 people and we'll get four. Yeah, go on then. Let's evacuate them. How do we do this then? Did I, did I accept? Well, luckily, I've got these two buses here. Uh, so that's 150. Then if we just like 200, 300, 350. There we go. Go evacuate those people. Go. I, I, go. Go. They're dead. They're gone. They're, they're all gone. We want me to go to Witten. That's quite the distance, that is. Sorry, they, they, they're arriving. Oh, okay. We need... There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Do you hear that little ringtone? That was amazing. We got 4,000 for that. Just by allocating spare buses. Things you love to see. Harborn's busy. I wonder why. Hampstead is busy too. Again, I wonder why. Bristol Road is busy. But Stratford Road, where is that? Is not busy. Ooh. What do we need to improve on our rating? 
enough free seats. We're getting there slowly but surely with these new buses when we buy them, more of them, and when we get out of debt. Ticket prices will go down once we're out of debt. Our rating went up. We're 2.7. Okay. Which bus drivers are not friendly? <laughs> you. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're also fired. You're gone. And you're gone. And you're gone. And so are you. Okay, all of a sudden we need to hire some drivers. Oh, we might hit 2,900 routes. Or tours completed today. But it also gives us 20k in cash. Which we can help use. To pay off another loan. Well, not even that. But we can pay off another loan with that amount that we just had. And that was that one. We need, now need 120k. And then we are finally out of loans. Um, 35 people. We can do that. Easy. We are 5, no, 15, 13 tours away. We should be able to get that, right? Five. Four, three, two. What? But yeah, we did it. Woo! And we got an easy one to do it. Oh, no. Okay, we just got to find the buses with the least amount of fuel. Like, if there's any buses in the yellow, we're going to have to spend some money here. Well, you know what they say. Spend money to make money. And that's what we're going to have to do right now. Decided... These buses are going to be numbered 700 and above because they've got 70 seats. There we go. We're, oh, not, not that number. 701. We're starting to give our buses fleet numbers. So it'll be bus number 700. We've unlocked a medal. We've refueled our buses. Whoa, we are now a silver star medal thing. Um... 54,000 passengers in one day. 31,000 tickets. We've got to sell. That seems doable in my eyes. Sunday is going to be definitely a day we can skip a lot on. But first, I just want to check how busy our main routes were on Saturday. Can I cut them down? That's the main question. And I'm going to say, yeah. We're going to cut them down on Saturdays. Uh, we're going to get rid of the first run at 5 o'clock. We're going to make the strap for be every 15 minutes on a Saturday. Uh, until 8 o'clock. And then that's where it can join in the normal service timetable. Uh, what's another route that has a high frequency on a weekday? The Olcester Road. There we go. That could be the X66 run. <laughs> it's just one day. One trip at the end of the day. Full non-stop. <laughs> See how that does. It probably won't do well. <laughs> oh, the mayor. From Wednesday to Friday, an increased passenger volume is to be expected. Please ensure that there are enough buses available and use additional buses if necessary. Yeah, about that, Mr. Mayor. About that. This has a request for six passengers it thinks it's going to get. There's no point in running that run, to be honest. I might just bin that route off on Sundays. Let's see how busy this bus actually gets. Two people, five people, eight people. Oh my god, it's like full and standing at this point. I generally don't realise how efficient I've made this route. Okay, that one's getting a bit more busier. But like... <laughs> is there even a point in running the service? So we ended up making 16k. I mean, it's not the best, it's not the worst, but it, it it's it's something, I guess. Is this our second week now? This so I think it is. Second week, we're doing pretty good, I feel. Once we got out of debt and we're making 100 k a day, then I say we're doing amazingly. We just need to start expanding the fleet better. We need to get out of debt. That's what we really do. Oh, hello. You're ill. Ill until Wednesday. 
Who was it? Who is it? <laughs> Bus driver. Let's just uh, let's just cut their page just a slight bit. There we go. That's illegal. Things you love to see. All the um, contract. Nice. <laughs> so there's a lot of dead mileage on that. 15 minutes to get to the place. Then 24 minutes back. But just think of the money. I think the solution for the Stratford Road is get the longer buses on it. And then we'll be able to cut the frequency. Because we've got the long bus on it. Where is it? Uh, where's it gone? There it is. And it's not that full. But the other buses, 30 seats is all but 10. And then if we cut the frequency, we're able to have more buses for other routes. And spare drivers. Or like make more routes. I feel like that's the game plan. But it involves us buying like 15 more of these buses. Oh, if we can make 30k more, I'll be able to pay off every single one of my loans. And then we don't have to worry about paying off loans. We won't be losing a K a day from loans or even 5k three, like four, five days ago. And then we can just focus on buying our fleet of new buses. Some more Centros. <laughs> Is there any more used ones? No. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, game. Cheers. Where's the contract bus? Where is it? There it is. Let's watch the contract bus. 34, 35. I thought they requested a 33 seater bus, but we move on. We move on. Honestly, that is probably the most efficient routing ever. Would get stuck around there in traffic in real life. That's where it doesn't become efficient. 11 minutes late! <laughs> what happened there? I love that little that little dingle. <laughs> the little sound. Do do do. And with that powerful contract, Gollus 1.6k has pushed us over the line to pay off our loans. We are now 100% debt free. And we could possibly hit 54,000 people today. We could even get 31, no, not today, but 31,000 tickets tomorrow. Let's put an extra bus onto that route. Uh, what else is busy? Probably Stratford Road. It's not. It's not. Oh my god. Okay, Harborn, I think, needs to have a look at. Where are they getting emptied? They're just not. It's just full the whole journey. Generally, Harborn needs an extra bus. I think it's going to have to be every 25 minutes throughout the whole day. We're just going to have to have two buses on it at all times. Yep, that's the plan. That's the game plan. But that won't get affected until tomorrow. 73k we'll get if we carry 54,000 people in one day. That is two new buses. Two brand new buses. Look, two of those. And a spare change. Why not test so the mess up? Can research if I want to. So we're going to research this passenger information system, which will also get researched tomorrow. But with that, that'll mean maybe we can try and increase travel comfort. I'm not sure, but I'm going to end it off here. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Today, we made a grand total of 97k on a Monday. Pretty, pretty good, assuming as last Monday we made 68k. Quite the increase. Uh, we've paid off our loans, we are completely loan free. And yeah, we've got our brand new livery on our bus. It's amazing. 
So yeah, thank you for watching, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.